you know, I just came back from Japan uh, last week. Great place. Like, it nice. It was really nice. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. you guys had fun. We had a blast. Yeah. We've been hoping to go there. I, for some you guys reason, we have. Japan? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've never been? There's a great. I have like, prior obligations. No, you got to go, dude. I have, well, this last time I had prior no, obligations. No, no, no. He's you been really busy. He has been busy. He just hasn't had time to go, go there. Can you go? Bro, Dom, what do you think this? Yes, I can go to Japan. Okay, I'm just making sure. No, I can go to Japan, and I haven't gotten the invite yet. <laughs> Who are you trying to get invited by? Probably my best bet is the WWE. No, I mean I'd be a real heel there. I mean we get invited. Oh yeah, you would, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Especially if you show up with the you know the hat. Bro, stop, Dom, stop. That was too far. That was actually too far, bro. Uh, I, I'm just uh, as a heel, you know. That was too far, bro. As a heel. Logan Paul's prime hydration has been hit with a string of lawsuits. Here are the details and what's next. Well, uh, okay, what am I supposed to do with all of this? And I literally just bought this uh, today. So, uh, great. Great. Okay. Yeah, this is a tragic day for 14 year olds all across the world and uh, me. <laughs> this is my 9 11. I think I might be the only person in their 20s who legitimately likes Prime and drinks it. Once I die, I low key want a casket made from Prime bottles, if that's possible, or with the Prime logo. That'd be pretty sick. Logan Paul. And it seems like he's in some pretty serious trouble, more than usual, believe it or not. So, this is the article that came out a few days ago, and then we got a newer one from legitimately two. Today. It's not looking too good for Logan, and I think it's time to get right into it. Logan Paul's prime supplier is suing the energy drink company for $68 million, accusing it of cutting ties as demand raider. Prime isn't doing as good as they were doing a year ago when it launched. Prime Hydration Supplier is suing the energy drink, accusing it of breaching a contract. Prime, co-founded by Logan Paul, cut ties with the supplier when sales fell, the complaint said. And when I went to pick up Prime a few days ago, I don't remember where it was. I don't know if it was Vaughn's. Prime was like, buy two for $3, or maybe each Prime was like a dollar, a dollar and a half. So really cheap. I love how they start this article by being like, yeah, the supplier of Prime, the energy drink co-founder by Logan Paul, the controversial YouTuber known for his Japan, Sephora, and being accused of promoting a series of crypto scams, assuming the beverage company accusing it of cutting ties this is what logan paul is low-key known for for the japanese forest and for crypto scams this guy could legitimately cure cancer and these will forever hunt him and rightfully so refresco a beverage bottling giant that employs 15,000 employees per its website says in the lawsuit the prime hydration breached a 2023 contract in which the energy drink company committed to ordering a minimum of 18.5 million cases or over 200 million bottles this is a insane number even for logan paul i'm not an expert okay i don't work for them i don't know anything about their inside business expecting over 200 million bottles per year over the next three years is insane. In exchange, Refresco, the company, invested in an exclusive and custom product line for the drinks. Refresco accuses Prime of failing to order the required amount during the first year of the contract. Like I said, I don't think Prime is selling too well. And a lot of it sadly has to do with Logan's, uh, you know, he is low key kind of a PR nightmare. I mean, this guy gets in trouble, it seems like every two months. And I think a lot of people are turned off by Prime because it is co-owned by Logan Paul. They're like, uh, yeah, I don't really want to support that scammer. I don't really want to support the guy from the Japan forest uh, and you know all the other stuff he's done. So I think that's one of the main reasons because the drink is good on its own. Like I truly do believe if anyone else was making it, I think it would go over well because it has Logan Paul attached to it and uh, a lot of people are turned off by that. You know, I don't blame them. <laughs> In November of last year, Bloomberg reported that the company was profitable and on track to surpass $1.2 billion in revenue for the year. The original agreement that Refresco made in April 2023 was based on the high demand Prime was experiencing at that time, according to the complaint. Prime blew up, British 14-year-old kids went crazy over it, and they peaked, right? They were doing crazy good in the first year, so they were trying to, you know, sell the product, trying to get companies involved in it. Companies see $1.2 billion in a year? Yo, that's crazy. You're blowing up. I'm 
I'm sure next year you're gonna do 1.5 or 2 billion. Yeah, we'll sign up. We'll work with you guys. You can't maintain that forever, no matter who you are. But by 2024, sales of prime beverages were falling well below defendants' expectations. Adding that while the decline was partially seasonal, it also involved fading social media buzz and a series of lawsuits. In March, prime representatives did not show up for the mandatory test run for the new machinery. Refresco said, by April of this year, Prime had not placed any beverage orders and told Refresco the contract had been terminated. The complaint said by that point, not one unit of Prime was bottled in the new production line. This is so scummy of real. God damn. And then Logan Paul did say this, which I find extremely hilarious. First off, anyone can sue anyone at any time. That does not make the lawsuit true. And in this case, it is not. So by that logic, the first thing that comes to mind is the coffee sale lawsuit that Logan Paul is doing for whatever reason that's such a stupid move suing coffee silla because he caught your ass scamming people is such a bitch ass move and this is one of the reasons why people don't want to buy prime because logan paul is a douchebag who sues people that he doesn't like coffee silla does not deserve to be sued coffee silla did nothing wrong and then he acts surprised when people don't want to buy his drink cutting off the contract after sales fell to me and uh, you're like well yeah, we're out. Bye. The complaint claims Prime owes Refresco nearly $68 million. It's far from the only lawsuit Prime is facing. Business Insider counted eight lawsuits in which Prime is the defendant. The lawsuits range from accusations of breach of contract to class action suits that accuse Prime of mislabeling the amount of caffeine in its energy drink. So yeah, they weren't kidding. Uh, <laughs> this is a lot of lawsuits. So we have this one and then this other company is suing Prime because of... Uh, uh, unfair competition and infringement. Kennedy versus Prime Hydration. The issue, the suit was filed in 2023 by a woman who gave Prime to her 10 year old son and who claims her product was, this is your fault, what the fuck? How do you buy something for your kid? And then you're like, uh, wait, was that healthy? You know what, I'm not a Logan Paul fan by any means, but you bought your son that. Can you not read the fucking label? Like, goddamn. So the woman gave Prime to a 10 year old son who claimed the product was falsely labeled and marketed to kids as healthy. I don't know if it's just me, but I never thought Prime was healthy. It's better than other drinks out there. It has less calories, less sugar than a lot of them, but they've never been marketed as exclusively a healthy drink. This is just BS. How about you actually read the fucking labels before you give something to your 10 year old son? You're the mom. Class action suit accuses Prime of feeding kids with high levels of caffeine. Did you give them prime hydration or prime energy drink? Who gives an energy drink to a 10 year old kid? The lawsuit seeds a plaintiff seeks damages. Okay. <laughs> damages for what? You're being unable to read the label? And Prime filed a motion to dismiss, which the judge granted on several technicalities. Yeah, this lawsuit is so stupid. Like, read the fucking labels. Be a fucking parent. And you know, there's quite a few other ones. If Prime does end up shutting down, it will be my 9-11. It will be my 13 reason. Because once again, I think it's a solid product. I never thought of it as a healthy drink. I don't think anyone goes in thinking, yo, you know, this is going to get me to lose weight. It's not. Some of these lawsuits are extremely valid, especially the Refresco one. But fucking suing Prime because you gave it to your 10 year old son. Besides that, yeah, I think it's incredibly scummy of Logan Paul to cut ties with Refresco just like that. And now they're suing him for 68 million dollars it looks like karma is finally catching up to logan paul yeah i just want to talk about this a tragic day for the one 20 year old who still drinks prime and for all the kids it seems like every day there's someone suing logan paul and i don't blame them logan paul wanted to sue coffee silla for no reason and now he's getting sued for 68 million dollars you know this is what you get this is karma at its finest. With that said, I'm gonna head out. What do you guys think? Like, share, subscribe, and all that epic and base stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time, all right? Peace out.